What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome back to Azerinth Healer, Book 1 by Rhaegar. Chapter 40. Fire and Ash. For once, Ilya's attention was not on her food, but on all the messages she had received earlier. Ding, you have defeated Talene Turret, level 160. For killing an adversary 50 or more levels above your own, you receive bonus experience. Ding, you have defeated Talene Turret, level 160. For killing an adversary 50 or more levels above your own, you receive bonus XP. Ding, you have defeated Talene Turret, level 160. For killing an adversary 50 or more levels above your own, you receive bonus XP. And so the list went on. She had already destroyed nearly 30 of the turrets, and more were waiting to be reaped. What a lucky trap this is. She checked out the messages that had made her smile the most. Ding, Azerinth Healer has reached level 101, 5 stat points awarded. Ding, Azerinth Healer has reached level 102, 5 stat points awarded. Ding, Azerinth Healer has reached level 103, 5 stat points awarded. Ding, Fire Enhancer has reached level 92, 5 stat points awarded. Ding, Fire Enhancer has reached level 93, 5 stat points awarded. Ellipses. Ding, Fire Enhancer has reached level 100, 5 stat points awarded. Ding, new skills available for Fire Enhancer. Ding, requirements met for class evolution. Fire Enhancer becomes Pyro Enhancer. Become one with the flame. Have Fire Enhancer class at level 100 or more. Level the skill Body of Flame to second stage. The Pyro Enhancer is a master of the flame. She is both a master of the fire within herself and the one she wields in ranged battles. Would you like to evolve your Fire Enhancer class to Pyro Enhancer? No current skills or stats will be lost. Be aware that other evolutions and skills may become unavailable. It was hard for Ilya not to smile, but the food she was currently stuffing into her face somewhat obscured it. Her eyes widened a little, though, as another message appeared in her mind. Ding, requirements met for class evolution. Fire Enhancer becomes Ash Wielder. You are the wielder of Ash. Have a fire-related body enhancement class at 100 or more. Have a total of at least three body enhancement skills at the second stage. Primary hand-to-hand -hand combat has been used in fights. Have brushed death more than ten times in the past week. The Ash Wielder is the smoldering heat left by fire. Ember glows within her as Ash Mist shrouds her form. Would you like to evolve your Fire Enhancer skill to Ash Wielder? No current skills or stats will be lost. Be aware that other, other evolutions and skills may become unavailable. Oh boy. Ilya continued eating as she thought over what she had read. Pyro Enhancer had been the plan from the start, and she would never forget Jayara's display in the arena. But Ash Wielder seemed more geared towards hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Damn, I wanted those fiery wings. She glanced at Edwin, who currently had his attention on the map before him that he updated every time they stopped to eat. She was tempted to ask for his opinion, but she still felt he wasn't being entirely honest with her. Plus, if she decided to part ways with them, it might be handy to have an ace up her sleeve. The requirements for Ash Wielder seemed super specific, assuming that the more specific something is, the rarer it is. I should definitely go with that. It also said I wouldn't be losing any skills, so I should be fine. She made the decision rather hastily, not wanting to be so deep in thought. Edwin had shown himself to be rather perceptive. And he didn't shy away from sending her into life-threatening traps. Even though she was there to help them with traps and healing, she deemed their advice questionable at best. She finished her meal and told the others she'd continue to clear out the turrets and left. On the way down the stairs, she accepted the Ash Wielder class. Having thought about it a bit more, the hand-to-hand -hand requirement was really what sold her on it. It's my main thing so far, and any fire-related abilities I could have learned seemed a bit useless, except Body of Flame, which isn't really a fire-specific thing. I guess more... I guess. More notifications filled her vision as she continued downward. Class change, Fire Enhancer becomes Ash Wielder. Vitality plus 10, Strength plus 5, Dexterity plus 5, Intelligence plus 15, Wisdom plus 10, 
Body enhancement magic is improved by 100%. All fighting styles using hand-to-hand -hand combat are more refined. Ilya stepped slowed as she read the description while her eyes widened. The body enhancement bonus had increased from 20% to 100 although the 25% bonus for fire magic was gone. This was still unbelievably huge. My Azerinth skills will also be affected by this. Skills changed by Ash Wielder. Body of Flame becomes Form of Ember. Active, Form of Ember, 2nd level 3. Ember glows within you, raising your resilience, speed, and dexterity by 46%, 138% after bonuses. Second stage, the longer you fight will in the form of ember, the stronger its heat burns. Each minute adds 15% to the bonuses, maximum 150%. Category, Aura, Body Enhancement. Ilya took another step as she processed the change. The bonuses have doubled. Heat Surge becomes Ash Surge. Active, Ash Surge. Level 2, create a wave of ash and ember within you at its center. Distance, density, and speed depend on skill level and mana invested. Max 60 mana. Category Ash and Magic. Fire manipulation becomes Ash and Ember manipulation. Passive Ash and Ember manipulation. Level 14. Your control over Ash and Ember increases dramatically. Bend it to your wishes and shroud the path before you. Category Ash and Magic. Ilya quickly read through them, but it wasn't over yet. Her heart rate sped up, nearly thumping as fast as when she was fighting. Skills gained as Ash Wielder. Active Shroud of Ash, level 1. Shroud yourself in Mist of Ash, increasing your resilience by 50%. 150% after bonuses. Category Body Enhancement Magic. Active Wave of Ember, level 1. Burn the inside of whatever your body hits with a surge of heat and embers. Category, Ash and Magic. You have no more free slots for active skills in your second class. Please choose a skill to be replaced by Wave of Ember, or choose not to gain the skill. Ilya quickly selected her low-leveled active skill, Flame, to be replaced. As convenient as it was, it really didn't help her fight. She was standing still in the White Corridor now, her breathing almost frantic. Passive Eyes of Ash, level 1, increases your perception by 30% when fighting without a weapon, 90% after bonuses. Category Body Enhancement, Ash and Magic. Passive Body of Ash, level 1, increases your reflexes and speed by 30% when fighting without a weapon, 90% after bonuses. Category Body Enhancement, Ash and Magic. She had to steady herself on the wall next to her to stop the trembling and calm her breathing. Checking her stats, she simply stood there, reading over all the messages again and again. Two minutes later, after breathing, after her breathing had steadied and she took a last d glance at her status. Ilya Spears. Unspent stat points, 60. Class 1, Azerinth Healer, level 103. Active, Destruction, 2nd level 20. Active, Reconstruction, 2nd level 15. Active, Stage of Azerinth, 2nd level 20. Active, Blink, 2nd level 16. Active, Azerinth Sphere, 2nd level 8. Active, er, Passive, Body of Azerinth, 2nd level 9. Passive, Azerinth Fighting, 2nd level 20. Passive, Magic, Magic Perception, level 12. Passive Azerinth Perception, 2nd level 1. Passive Azerinth Reversal, level 1. Class 2, Ash Wielder, level 100. Active Shroud of Ash, level 1. Active Form of Ember, 2nd level 3. Active Ash Surge, level 2. Active Body Heat Manipulation, level 1. Active Wave of Ember, level 1. Passive Ash and Ember Manipulation, level 14. Passive Heat Perception, level 1. Passive Eyes of Ash, level 1. Passive Body of Ash, level 1. Passive Free Slot. General Skills. Elio Standard Language, level 5. Identify, level 4. Meditation, 2nd level 14. Poison Resistance, level 16. Heat Resistance, level 9. Pain Tolerance, 2nd level 1. Mental Resistance, level 5. Fear Resistance, level 1. Status. 
Vitality, 312. Endurance, 106. Strength, 97. Dexterity, 98. Intelligence, 273. Wisdom, 247. Health, 2,950 out of 3,120. Stamina, 983 out of 1,060. Mana, 1,566 out of 2,470. Ilya opened her mouth, letting out the breath she'd been holding in, and opened her eyes. I can't let them see all this new stuff yet. Best save it. Just in case, I'll deal with the turrets without any of the new skills. She did, however, apply her new stat points. With her crazy new class, she felt the strength and dexterity would rarely hold her back. If she kept them at a minimum of about a quarter or a fifth of her main stats, her auras would boost them to levels that nearly matched the others. Vitality, intelligence, and wisdom would still be her key focus, especially now that she could channel reversed reconstruction for continuous damage. Also, with the brutal traps and things like the Centurion lurking about, healing herself was more important now than ever. She couldn't neglect wisdom or she'd risk running low on mana at the worst possible moment. While it was tempting to buff her physical stats, given her aura bonuses, the mana intrusion Edwin had mentioned seemed like her main trump card. Powerful creatures would be more likely to resist raw physical strength, but destruction had the potential to bypass such defenses. Plus, with her blink boosted even further, speed and agility were rarely an issue. Her current build was working for her, so she decided to stay the course. She split her new points evenly across vitality, intelligence, and wisdom. Smiling, she continued into the trap room. The new bonus to body enhancement magic that came with Ash Wielder, alone, had a higher impact on her fighting capabilities than the whole Fire Enhancer class ever had. They did tell me that the classes before Pyro Enhancer wouldn't be all that, but this... She balled her hands into fists as she came out onto the bridge, immediately being bombarded by the still massive number of remaining turrets. Let's get going then, boys, she said with a wide smile on her face as she started to blink through the air. Edwin was finishing the map with what they'd explored so far. Finally, he wiped away some sweat. Fighting was one thing, a thing he was very good at, but cartography was a different beast. He was certainly good at remembering all the different streets and corners, but putting them down on paper proved a difficult task. You should really do the maps, Phil, he said once again in frustration. The girl waved dismissively, still trying to produce sound with wind magic, and some exposed tubes she'd found from the walls. We'd have to stop in every other room for that, Ed, she said absent-mindedly. He just nodded and walked back to Alana, who was still trying to figure out how did the machines had produced the firestorm that had nearly burned Ilya to a crisp. Bringing her continues to prove a good decision. We'll reach the gate in no time with that indestructible trap finder. He winced at the thought of being caught between those spikes. Part of him had wanted to try to escape them, but the more rational side of him had won out in the end. Alana, can you store it again, he asked, passing her the map. She took it in her hand where it quickly vanished. Why are you letting her get all those towers? Alana asked when he started to walk away. Edwin stopped and look at, looked over at her, a bit confused. Why would you care? They're far below our level, a drop in the bucket. Alana looked at him for the first time in the conversation. Her brown eyes had an intensity to them that only that they only rarely held. Usually it had to do with meat. They wouldn't help us, but they do help her. A lot. She's already level 100, Edwin, and she'll only grow from there. He blinked at her. I know. I'd like to see how far she can go. What an interesting combination of skills, and soon she'll get an upgrade to Fire Enhancer. Pyro should be in range of possibility. Alana grunted, which prompted him to stop his monologue. You always do that. For how smart you are, you can be so blind and stupid. You're aware that behind that interesting and deadly combination of skills is a woman. A woman who could potentially find out who is looking for us and perhaps decide she's willing to talk to them. Or maybe she decides that we have some interesting possessions. She raised her hand to show him her storage ring while looking into his eyes. You think she'll become a danger to any of us? Edwin scoffed. 
maybe if she reached our levels, but that won't happen while we're here, and I believe her to be more rational than you think. I apologize if this has brought up some bad memories, but this is different. Except at least that. He left her after he finished. No response came from Alana, whose eyes had lost some of the life they had held before. She does have a point, though, Edwin acknowledged, as he heard his sister finally produce the sound of music. He smiled, taking in a deep breath. As long as Fell's doing all right, this has to be the one. We'll find you soon, Maria. Ilya didn't return to the others while she was clearing the rest of the turrets. Another five rounds of depleting her mana and using meditation to restore it in between, the whole ordeal took her only about a couple of hours. It wasn't fruitless, though, as she'd destroyed over a hundred turrets. For a short while after the last one was demolished, Ilya sat on the middle of the bridge. The last notification popped up to tell her she had defeated an enemy, and she checked her gains. Seven more levels in Azerinth Healer, five in Ash Wielder. She glanced up at her status to save a lot of reading, because the level-ups were displayed in between dozens of other messages. Fewer than I expected. I guess the level difference is getting smaller and having a big effect. She then distributed all her remaining stats. I think I'll invest some in Endurance and Wisdom this time. Stopping after half an hour of blinking around and fighting is annoying, especially considering how much mana all my new skills will be using if I want to keep them up for long periods of time. Before she went to get the other, she tried blinking from one end of the bridge to the other in quick succession. It's certainly fast, but if I blink into a trap, it might be dangerous. Having something on the edge of my Azeroth sphere is easier to react to than suddenly being a meter away from me. Walking up to the closest closed silvery door at the end of the bridge, Ilya began her assault on it. At the same moment she finally broke down the door, a rumbling sound came from below. Suddenly, the stone below her fractured, and the crack of breaking stone could be heard, running through the bridge as dust and pieces of rock fell into the air. Ilya quickly stepped into the newly opened corridor and watched as the bridge collapsed behind her. Oh well. She blinked back to the other entrance. Walking back up the stairs again, she bumped into Edwin halfway up. Bridge collapsed, he asked. He shrugged at the nod he received as response. They tend to do that. Before I get the others, I have to ask you something. He locked eyes with her, and his face became the cold facade he had shown when they first met. Interrogation face, eh? Ilya smiled. But she was a bit worried he might have already found out about her class change. She really wanted to keep that to herself for a, lot, a while longer, as insurance. Yes, interrogation face, you've grown quite a bit. The turrets helped a lot in that as well. So, we're both benefiting. I hope you're rational enough to see how much you've gained so far. She nodded warily. Good. My question then is this. If you had the ability, or maybe a tool, choice, or another way to kill us, would you? Ilya was taken aback by the directness of the question. You're frank, aren't you? She said, her smile vanishing. She thought about it seriously, as she knew anything less than the truth wouldn't satisfy him. She had gained over fifty levels, amazing pointers from all three of them, an experience of fighting with the seasoned mages and a swordsman, let alone her new amazing class. Why he even considered her a possible danger said more about his worldview than it did about her, or his situation. He did think I was there for them at the very start. Maybe he thinks I'm trying some long con? She might not even have got her new class, given that brush with death requirement without Edwin's assistance, that she might be the one checking for traps. She could have gone to a different dungeon or simply somewhere in the wild to level up, but the speed at which she'd done so here would have been impossible without help, at least not without amazing luck. Without being able to isolate them from ranged machines, the sword guardians would have cut her apart long ago. If anything, Alice had said it was the truth, then they would have been helping there as well, although Ilya was learning more and more was leaning more and more towards Edwin's interpretation of her friend than the remaining hope she still held on to that he was maybe wrong. Most important of all, though, she liked the three of them, crazy though they were. After realizing she was a battle maniac, most people she'd met so far looked at her differently. They, they likely wouldn't want to associate with her for the fear of the risk, 
She didn't blame them. She had lived an incredibly risky life since coming to this world. It felt disconnecting. Few people really understood her. Roland was certainly one of them, but he had his family to worry about. Hell, she'd have a hard time coming to terms with her enjoyment of fighting herself. She didn't know their history or their goals, but she felt comfortable enough around them. They didn't look at her as if she were crazy. They understood. Sure, Edwin was rather cold. Calculating. A bastard, maybe. But then, Ilya was kind of a psycho, and they had made a deal. She could have left any time she liked. She shook her head. No, no. I don't see why I would attack you in the first place. You've helped me so much. What about you? Why even ask this question? She asked seriously. I had to be sure, Edwin said after a while. There are people, he started, then reconsidered. Forget it. We have our arrangement. We do, Ilya said. They stood there quietly for a couple of seconds before Edwin started chuckling. She smiled in return. They s See, I didn't think it was anything to worry about, he said. I like you, Ilya. You're the first person in a long time that I can say that about honestly. But you do need to know that getting through this dungeon without losing too much time and without one of us dying is more important to me than your life is. My choices will reflect this. I hope you can understand that. As he started to walk back up the stairs, he asked, almost as an afterthought, Is the path clear? The bridge is gone, but yeah, the path is clear, she replied. If this is how he treats people he likes, I don't want to be his enemy. And that is the end of chapter 40. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun, guys.